we are back okay y'all know me i love going to the website i know y'all see the tabs all the way at the top i've been doing my little google translate thing because for some reason my computer does not want to translate all of this but the last time we had two characters it was stain and eraser head a wiser sensei they didn't really give us a lot i guess you could say we weren't able to see them on the website then so we're gonna go ahead and look at them now so first things first is eraser head if we do actually scroll down we can see him his two little respective screenshots him looking kind of nice i see you big boy and then all of this usually it's translated i was able to translate it on my own time so i'm gonna go ahead and read to you what it says so just about right here where i do have highlighted it says a professional hero who serves as a teacher of ua high school seeking not only to waste time with rational thinking and his quirk or individuality is the ability to erase a person's personality that you see quote unquote kill that's what it's actually translated for but we've seen what erase your head can do he can look at you he can erase your quirk it's kind of that simple if he doesn't look at you or if he blinks you know his quirk deactivates there's that his technique which is right here right under his battle type right here is that his technique type to fight by separating weapons so he's basically the type to say get you away or He's mostly like the type to bind you up and force you into close combat. And I'm actually going to get more into that when we look at what this says right here. Obviously, you know, I will be kind of showing off a little bit of, um, I guess, screenshots of my own translations next to it since it doesn't want to work with me today. But right here, what I do have highlighted, it does say you can make your opponent or your opponent's quirk deletion status by quote unquote personality skills i'm going to be reading this like directly i was translated and i'll try and fix it later on but you can make your opponent's quirk deletion status quote unquote by personality skills and you can stop the invocation of individuality technique and some other crazy ass word that i have no idea what it means for a certain amount of time by closing down the quirk most characters are forced to approach in close combat so it's easier to captivate weapons and criminals to trigger the opponent to create opportunities of the opponent at a stoke at a stoke okay <laughs> i know you literally just got confused by that i literally just got confused by that so let me go ahead and translate that to what i think it means basically we know a wiser sensei we know he raised your head he can wrap his tape around you he can hold you there he can look at you with his quirk, I'm pretty sure, because I don't really know if the tape is for his quirk. Maybe the tape is just really strong tape and he could just look at you. Boom, you no longer have a quirk. But with that fact, he kind of forces you to go into close combat. Now, we don't really know how long his quirk can last for because obviously, if we just have a wiser sensei looking at you for the whole entire game, then he might just be the most broken character and wants justice overall. But it's the fact that maybe they do have a time limit for it. Maybe you just have to be locked on. We don't really know. We'll get more into this later when we actually do get, I guess you could say, some gameplay with the HUD. Because so far we have not gotten any gameplay with the HUD. But hopefully we do get it. But that is all for Eraserhead. And the last thing that we do have to look at, actually the last character, my bad, because I do want to go over the system and the special things that are supposed to be coming up. But is the hero killer stain we know stain okay stain is that boy stain was the last person that deku fought in season three with todoroki with uh ida there we go I almost forgot his name but we don't know his birthday we don't know his height all we know is that his quirk is blood curdle that's actually what this is supposed to be right there it's supposed to be personality individuality whatever it's blood curdle okay right here where i do have highlighted all right here it does say known as hero killer or hero killing is what is actually translated by having a unique feeling of justice that hey you know there's fake heroes out there that a fake hero is born a lot of heroes try to be real but quote unquote they're not a distorted society he kills those heroes and counterfeit in various places back alleys yada 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 boasting overwhelming frightening power with attacks with a knife and quick movement his quirk is blood clotting or blood curling blood curdling my bad 
that takes away the freedom of the body by ingesting the partner's blood, which we've seen him do in the anime. He's cut, he's cut Ida, he's cut, I don't think he's cut, um, Todoroki before, but I know that he's hit Deku, because Deku once was in a, I'm not gonna say comatose state, but a paralyzed state, where he cut him, licked his blood, boom, dude was paralyzed, but only for that specific body type of where he cut. So, there's that. Then we have his battle type right here, which I'm actually trying to highlight. But you know, this thing right here, it says power and speed type of murder specialization. Y'all know the boy, dog. He's an assassin. We can tell. He's out here assassinating fake heroes. You know, that's the boy Stain. But, let's go ahead and do this thing right here, which I do have translated. It says technically and power fighting or technically a power fighting character that punch through the gap and slash through opponents by meta well whoa, whoa my bad while quickly tricky moves like the original it is possible not only to use a sword but also a long range attack by knife throwing so i'm pretty sure the sword is what they're trying to show off right here the knife throwing is what they're trying to show off right here so i'm guessing stain does have projectiles or you could use his close combat knives so again, I'm not really sure if he's the balance type player. I'm pretty sure he's more offensive than defensive or more offensive close combat than long range because I'm pretty sure like his knives aren't really meant for that, but they are low key. It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird how they actually translated it and just literally coming off of Google Translate and typing it down. But maybe it's just the fact that, hey, you Stain's quirk, getting close paralyze the opponent and win <laughs> like i'm pretty sure that's exactly what they're trying to say but with those two characters out of the way there's two new or two little things that i do want to go over it's the system and the specials we're going to go over the specials real quick also if you scroll up all the way at the top there's the release date 8 23 2018 we're living but let's go ahead and go down to special real quick they do actually show off the card game that we were shown off in the scan with the three new characters that we actually showed off earlier in the video. And then we have this right here, which I'm pretty sure is the customization thing that we also saw as well. Like you can see um, Momo with, what's his face? I, M Mineta, there you go. You can see Mo Momo with the Mineta hanging on her leg. That's a customization, I'm pretty sure. Bakugo's army outfit, which is this, because you can see the camo pants. That's a customization. Then you have Deku right here. I'm pretty sure that might be customization as well. But still, I guess they're just saying, hey, you can customize your characters. That's good to know. Or you can if you want to. Then they have the system thing, which is actually more of a Seymour type thing. I actually tried to translate this. If we do hit this one, I'm pretty sure this is just for guarding. You have your guard. You have your guard break. You have your, hey, you can chase them on the wall, and this one is stun. I'm pretty sure that's all that it translates to. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, like, Photoshop it and, you know, give it to you in, like, a cute little way, like, showing you guys the translations or not. I'm not really sure, but if you guys did not know, again, this is stunning right here. Kind of goes over what, like, stunning a character does. You can chase them onto walls or, like, the buildings or anything like that. This is just, hey, you can guard an attack, and this one is, of course, the guard breaks. So, that's what that one. I'm pretty sure this one right here is more of the, the sidekick system that they did show off in the trailer where you have your two psychic characters you can use them to help your attacks maybe even in an ultimate attack like the one at the bottom where you have Deku and All Might maybe they have their own little special Detroit Delaware smash or something like that who knows and then this one right here is all about attacks now I'm not gonna lie to you I low-key forgot what this is I'm pretty sure this is this one down here is the arts which is supposed to be their super attacks as you can kind of tell we've seen Ochako do her super attack we've seen um Shigaraki and Deku do do theirs all in video and with this one right here is probably I'm not really sure I low-key forgot what this one is I just know that it's basically using their quirk that's what it is it's using their quirk as you can kind of tell with the screenshots all around we have Todoroki we have Sue, we have Danki Kaminari, all using their quirks for battle. So again, you could either punch them or A, you know, or B, use your quirk. And then I'm pretty sure this one is the the attacks. I, I think this one right here that I'm circling right now, it actually is kind of saying, hey, you know, 
literally click one button and win if again if i do end up showing off the translations for it there you go if not you kind of have to go along with what i say and then the two down here are i'm not really sure maybe these are like light attacks and heavy attacks or something like that i'm not really sure but that's kind of it for today again the release date if we do scroll up right here is August 23rd, 2018. We literally have about two, three months left. Oh my goodness. This game has to make a lot of improvements to get a lot of people on their side. I think they can do it. If you guys are hype for My Hero Academia Once Justice to come out on the PlayStation 4, the Switch, the Xbox One, and the PC worldwide. Make sure to hit that like button for your boys. Well, as consider subscribing to the channel for more anime game related content. If you do want more My Heroes news, let me know in the comment section below. If you want me to cover any other anime games as well, let me know in the comment section below. I'm here for you guys. You guys are here for me. That's kind of how we roll. But that'll be it for today's video. Have a good day. Have a good night, wherever you are. And I will see you all next time.